Ladies and gentlemen, the sun has now found its home in the western sky, and it is Saturday night in Tiger Stadium, home of the LSU Tigers, one of the great venues in college football. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the LSU Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse LSU ready to kick it away to get things started. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Alabama's offense will start this game off. When these two teams square off against each other, they know the legacies they carry, and that'll be evident in this one, guys. Alabama LSU is one of my favorite games each and every year because this is one of the fastest games you'll see all season. There is so much NFL first-round talent on the field every time these two teams play. Year after year, we could go back and name so many names, but you're right. The draft is going to call them. The stakes are always high. The conference always on the line. These two teams, you know, are always square in the mix the give from the gun they believe in that running game got six before he stopped at the 23 you can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start looking for a man it's Milrow throws to the wideout and a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up Looks as if the Tide will punt it away. A quick three and out, and they're already giving up the ball. He'll bring it back. It's Durham. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. The LSU Tigers offense taking the field for a chance. We have to see them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. With jet sweep pass. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon. Encroach, encroach, defense. Defense a little too eager. That's an encroachment penalty, five yards for the offense. Using his legs, it's Jackson. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Offense breaks the huddle, it's third down. Off the RPO, quick throw to the right. Finds a crease at the 20. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown LSU! And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And how about that for a capper? A 43-yard run for six. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes that Alabama offense. They're looking for an advantage to the right. Jukes his way for more. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. 
They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. To the ground with the back. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. Pocket starts to collapse. And he bats it away, it falls incomplete. The Crimson Tide will bring the punt team on the field. First punt was gorgeous, let's see if he can do it again. Gets it away, solid distance, but more importantly, trying to keep it away from that return man. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time, wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. After the misconnection, it's second down. From the gun, the ground game. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Yeah, and the quarterback didn't have a chance. I mean, when you get to the QB that fast, Jesse, you're still processing information, for goodness sakes. And you're getting to the sideline whenever this drive is over, and you're asking for help from your offensive coordinator. You're asking, hey, can we slide our offensive line and help out blocking this guy? Can I get a tight end to stay in and maybe get a chip on this dude? Because I'm not feeling too comfortable right now back there knowing that we're trying to only block him with one guy. The tied offense rolls onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board. defense had them backed up and then they're in the neutral zone and the offense will say thank you very much wide out in motion gonna run it it's Haynes dragged down to the turf but not before getting the first down here's this offense with a fresh set of downs they'll run it out of the shotgun and this one will be stopped for no gain they got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there. Got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. Hey, Crooks, 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 Crooks. Defense. defense couldn't quite hold its water, and it'll be five free yards for the O. They'll ride the running back and leave it with it. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the stakes. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? Dances away from one. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Give to the running back. Got some room. Headed to the goal line. Gets it all the way down to the two-yard line. He was fighting for that end zone. And that's the benefit to the run game. Keep pounding, keep pounding. Now you break one all the way down to the two-yard line. And don't stop it. Get down, get lined up quick, and give it to this dude again to go score a TD. On first and goal, let's see if Alabama can get it in the end zone. They'll try to get it in with the run. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Second and goal for the offense. Trying to punch it in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown! 
Well, well, well. Somebody's been doing their box jumps. You ain't lying. Getting up in the air. Hey, listen. I'm taking a picture of that, saving it. That might be my screensaver on my phone. That vertical way up in the air. Getting set for the point after. Bangs it through for an extra point. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Texas is trailing, but they are within striking distance. Kind of like when Major Applewhite turned a huge deficit in the 2001 Holiday Bowl into a win. Maybe today is deja vu. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Catch in the middle, it's Thomas. They're trailing by just four to Florida. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. On the move, it's Jackson. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. Snap from the gun on third down. Gets it out fast. They make the stop, and that's how the first quarter will end. We played one, and we are right back where we started, all tied up after the first period as we take a look at the stats. got a good one going here and looking forward to keeping those vibes going here in the second quarter. From the gun, the running back has it. Oh, how did you make that move? And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. The Tigers have it with a first and ten. They'll leave it with him. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. On the option. He'll toss it. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. A third and long coming up here. Back to pass. It's Nussmeyer. This pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. Just about the time the quarterback got the snap, that dude was in his mustache. Quick, fast, and in a hurry in the backfield. Got him to the ground before he could even think about getting the laces and trying to get the ball out of his hands. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the ball hits at the three and gets into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Here comes that Alabama offense. Hand off from the gun. Makes a man miss. A little more space. Open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Right back to the well. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Oh, the defense moved in there too quickly. You think it's never going to work hey, until it does, and that'll be a first down. The encroachment penalty on the D gives the offense a free five yards. They'll run it from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Got it set up on the outside. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Got it in the middle. It's Bernard. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. The give to the back. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. 
using his legs, it's Haynes. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. Got it! And he will score! Touchdown tie! One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. He'll try to tack on one more. And the PAT gives him a 14-7 lead. So a well-executed eight-play, 75-yard drive. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They'll run it from the gun. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Defense didn't maintain its discipline there, and they get into the neutral zone. It'll cost them five yards. Hey, coach, coach, defense. Defense. defense just a little too eager, and that's five yards for the O. Back to throw. It's Nussmeyer. And the pass. It's picked off. Taking it the other way. Touchdown, Bama! And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happening for your ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They're about to kick it away and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, I'm kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great. So I know offensively, I got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. They'll try the run. A stop him cold maybe gets a yard to the 34. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Taylor. Good pick up there as he gets the first down. And they'll mark him at the 48. And LSU starting to get that passing attack cranked up. And this is a unit that typically LSU is as good as they are at quarterback. We know they're going to be physical. We know they got athletes all over the field. But when they get really good quarterback play, those teams are really special. The give to the back. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Offside, offside. Defense. Defense. Good job by the QB there, using his cadence, using his clapping, trying to get this defense offside. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wideout. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. To the air. It's Nussmeyer. He finds his man. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Ball's at the 27. It's third and short. Can they avoid making that fourth down decision? They'll try to power their way ahead. 
They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. LSU getting set on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Let's it fly deep downfield. And it's incomplete as he tried to thread that needle to the back corner of the end zone. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Illegal block of line the back. Offense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Now facing some adversity on this drive after the loss of four at second and 14. Quick strike complete. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Grabbed over the middle. It's Lacey. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Takes a snap. Wants to throw. Just about picked off in the end zone, and that would have put a stop to this scoring threat. Instead, it'll be second down. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab. They will score. Touchdown by you, Bengals. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. On to attempt to try. And with the extra point, they're down a touchdown, 21-14. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, a big time top 25 duel. Let's get right to the pictures. Missouri is getting hammered right now. They are the nail. And that figurative mallet is just pounding them into the ground. What a bad look. They're trailing by 20 to Oklahoma. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. Wiggles free. And the sack all the way back at the five. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. They'll go to the ground. And sure, tackling there to keep them from getting to the first down marker. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Alabama will bring the punt team on the field. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Makes a move. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. First down for this offense. He wants to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Thomas. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Wideouts all wadded up in a bunch. On second down, looking to throw. Got his man quickly. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Looking to move it through the air. Took a shot as he threw. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. After the incompletion, they're facing a second and 10 from the 25. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. Fires to the wideout. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. The snap sets up the throw. Fires into the end zone. And he really wanted to get the touchdown there, but it's incomplete. And the play will stand after the replay move just does a little double checking to make sure. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. It's still third and goal. 
From the gun, wants to pass. Coming after it. Another incompletion on third down. They'll send out the kicker here. From the right hash, and this distance makes that angle not quite so severe. It's good. gives you a little boost going to the locker room and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. Looking for an alley from inside his own tent. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. Running out of time here in the first half, they're gonna have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Looking for space, it's Haynes. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30 yard line. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Trying to set the tone with the run. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Here's the handoff. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Contact in the neutral zone leads to that penalty. Good news for the offense. Looking downfield, it's Nussmeyer. Getting some heat. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Great heads-up awareness by the defense. Third and short. Everyone in the stadium thinks the offense is going to run the ball, but they knew there was a chance the quarterback might try to throw it. They pinned their ears back. They got after him. Looks as if LSU will line up to punt it away. Solid punt headed toward the sideline, trying to make it tough to return. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Caught in the backfield. It's Prentice. What a cut. Now he's loose. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. Caught in the backfield, it's Bernard. And there is nothing doing on that one. You got the completion and nothing else to show for it. Looking to pass on second down. Makes the catch, it's Bernard. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell, he, he, this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and then all of a sudden, he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, creating enough separation to create a positive game. A little less room to work with now as the ball's at the 28 and it's third and long. To the air, it's Milrow. 
right down the middle. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to get the three. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And this guy has been a machine all season long. He is absolutely automatic. You know you're getting three points when this guy jogs on the field. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. And he'll bring it back. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. The Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. Makes the grab. It's Lacey. Still on his feet at the 45. They're ripping off chunks of yard to take, get it to the 33. Just about any LSU offense will make you hold your breath when they play pitch and catch. Yeah, just such elite playmakers usually, just such speed. And listen, when you're a defense, speed kills. And LSU, no matter who plays quarterback, they always got dudes that can fly out wide that absolutely scare you. This drive facing a little adversity on second and 11. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Wide open downfield. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Power football with the run. They pull him down at the 17 after a pickup of three. Got three on first down in second and seven. They give it to him again. Relying on that running game as they threaten to pick up a four down to the 13. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. And the defense had his hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. Now, fourth down. On fourth down, flexing that muscle in the run game. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on downs. Line gets set, first down. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. No, oh, he got loose. Oh, that move is going to leave them dizzy. Alabama pushing the tempo. Every good quarterback is first a game manager. At Alabama, that used to be sort of a, a label of derision, but now they're not only that, they're playmakers. Yeah, and it's what they used to ask them to do. Like, like they were very comfortable handing the ball off, running the ball, controlling the clock, you know, trying to keep your defense fresh. Nah, bro. If you can't score points now, if you can't get first downs and go get me touchdowns, you're not going to be on the field. From inside the 40 at the 37, it's first down. Well, we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. To the ground. He's got it again. They pull him down at the 17 after a pickup of three. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon. Neutral zone. Neutral zone. Defense. 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 
neutral zone infraction will push the ball up five yards. That is a costly penalty on this defense. Now they're dealing with a second and two. And he's got it! Touchdown, Crimson Tide! Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David, so this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you gotta swing it back your way. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. NC State is piling up the points here today. They've opened up a massive lead in what's shaping up to be the kind of blowout neither side will soon forget. They're up by 17 over Duke. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Gonna run it. It's Durham. Didn't find a lot of room. Let's give him two out to the 20. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. They'll decline the penalty here, and the result of the play stands. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there, got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. So the early contact for the defense, and they'll move it up five yards. He'll do it himself. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. And now on second down for this offense. Wide receiver shows motion. Looking to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Looking left. Got his man downfield. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. So now with first and goal, let's see what LSU does here. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. So Alabama takes the lead into the quarter break. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. Splits the uprights. Good. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Pulls it, fired complete. And they pick up just a few on that completion. They'll line up for a second down play. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. 
Caught in the backfield, it's Young. And he is going to lose yard. He's nowhere to run as he is forced out of bounds. And you can give all the credit to the crowd for that one. Offense, no chance and call for the false start. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Fires left. And the timing just a hair off. Looks as if the tide will punt it away. Running it back, it's Durham. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Makes the quick grab. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. They ran it on first down, now on second. Looking downfield, it's Nussmeyer. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. Fires on the move. He's got it. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. LSU quick to the line. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five. It is when we start getting those long yardage situations. LSU moving quickly, going to work again on first down. They're looking to pass from the red zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, LSU! Each and every week, I think this coaching staff does such a good job of scheming ways to get this guy the football in the passing game, and defenses can't cover him. With that last catch, this now his 10th receiving touchdown on the season. They'll go for two here and try to climb within a field goal late. Now on the option. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes that Alabama offense. They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this will be a good time to put together a drive. You're right, Reese. You can't rest either. And he breaks into the open. The 20. Touchdown, Alabama! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. They put another score on the board as they try to push this winning streak to three. That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, the lead is a dozen here in the fourth. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. To the air on first down. He's going to throw deep right side. He's got it inside the 30. Touchdown, Tigers! What a catch and run for six. So they get that score that they so desperately needed, and now they've got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game. They're going to need some help from the defense.
They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it out. It's Adams. Knocked down right at the 25, and I guess he breaks even, bringing it out of the end zone. The tied offense rolls onto the field. And now that cushion is a little bit smaller, Jesse, and any mistake would get magnified. Yeah, a little bit of pressure now on this offense too, David. I think they got to go back to their playmakers and get these guys going in the game. No doubt. Find those plays, those plays you know you can run them in your sleep. You make sure you execute. Build this lead a little bit bigger. Put this thing away in the fourth quarter. Looking for room. It's Haynes. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Almost intercepted, and what a momentum swing that could have been, but they still force a fourth down. The Crimson Tide will bring the punt team on the field. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. And the punt hits at the 8 and goes into the end zone for the touchback. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Boy, that last touchdown, the one play quick strike score. Jesse, this offense hoping to keep that kind of explosiveness going. And I don't know if they're going to get the same looks defensively because of just how explosive that play was, Reese David. They may be seeing a little bit more... Uh, off coverage on this drive and maybe some softer boxes to run into. And when you make that kind of explosive play, you're going to put the defense on the team. They're going to be a little bit more conservative. So this offense approach now, maybe I don't have to go deep. I can go a little bit shorter and just make those easy plays in the Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get into the 33-yard line. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense. The back goes in motion. Looking for a man. It's Nussmeyer. Going to throw it to the right. He's got his man. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Grabbed in the middle. It's Hilton. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. On second down, lost to throw. He's got it on the run. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Defense didn't maintain its discipline there, and they get into the neutral zone. It'll cost them five yards. Defense a little too eager. That's an encroachment penalty, five yards for the offense. Trying to run it in. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Heftiness coming out on the goal line. Trying to break the plane on second and goal. Touchdown, Tigers! They've got the lead here in the fourth. Man, I love this offense, being able to run the football late in the game when it matters and punch it in for the touchdown and, more importantly, take the lead. They're going to go for two here and try to extend that lead to a field goal. The play action fake. They're trying to get to it. He gets into the end zone for the two point conversion and the cushion is now three. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes that Alabama offense. Out of the gun, the running back has it. That'll be a gain of five out to the 27. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. 
He'll try to pop the draw. They make the stop after a gain of three to the 31. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And he's brought down after a nice game. We've reached a two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Been showing them the run. Now they'll throw it. Makes the grab down the middle. They make the stop after the catch, and still some work to do to pick up that first down. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. Dropping back, it's Milro. Throws to the wideout. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. Back to the line after the incompletion. Second and ten from the 37. Fires to the wideout. And it's intercepted. A turnover from the defense. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Aggressive versus reckless. It's such a fine line when you're trailing and you need to make plays late in the game. The offense was reckless, turned the football over, and this one doesn't look great. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Caught over the middle. It's Lacey. The defense got caught that time, and they finally get him on the ground at the 41. Calling a timeout here, you have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. And the quarterback takes the snap and kneels down. They say every game counts the same in the standings, and that is true, but there are some games that no matter what the coaches say, they just mean a little more, and they hurt a little more if you lose. They do, and that's a fact, and every player will tell you that. There are some games that are highlighted before the season that this game matters more, and it's not that the other ones don't matter. It's just that the hate runs so deep for some of these rivalries and some of these kids that grew up across the street from each other that went to different schools, Jesse. You can feel it. David, you're absolutely right, and I wonder, because it was a rivalry game, did the losing team get a little overhyped? It just looked like they were pressing too much in this football game. They too, made too many uncharacteristic mistakes, and as a result, they take the L. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.